Hello everybody and welcome to this week's update video. My name is Martin, I'm an Inkscape developer, I'm developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Thank you for joining me for my update videos where I talk about some of the work that we've gotten up to this week. Um, this week is actually a nice special uh, video because I get to talk about the Inkscape beta. Uh, after the alpha, which basically says, okay, now we're sort of not going to develop any more features, please fix the stuff that you've broken. Now we get to the beta, which is where all things start to settle down. Uh, first of all, the uh, development track now splits into two. Inkscape uh, main or master branch goes in one direction, and that will become unstable again. But basically, features can be now added to the main branch. And the, there's a new branch called 1.3.x, which is the branch that is now for release. Um, it's not entirely finished because it still needs to have a whole bunch of testing. There is an entire section of translations that are necessary and also a whole bunch of double checking to make sure that we haven't broken everybody else's workflows. The last thing that we need is to make a release that sucks. So we give ourselves extra time, which is what the beta is. Um, the beta is uh, probably more important to check to make sure that it is doing the things that it needs. So if you depend on Inkscape for your work and you see things in the 1.3 that you absolutely must have for your work. This is exactly the time when you need to be testing, making sure that all of your stuff still works and telling us if it breaks. Uh, fingers crossed it should all work, but like, you know, you never know. Okay, so now that we have this split, this week has actually been a whole bunch of, of that work of... Um, putting all the graphics together. Uh, Chris Rod Rogers has been sorting that out. Had a bit of a co conference with him because I used to do that work. Uh, he's put together the graphics for the welcome screen, uh, put in the about screen contest winner and just cleaned up a whole bunch of stuff. Um, when I was doing that co conference with him, I noticed that we had an entire directory full of basically old files. And so I put together a merge request for master now, which, uh, cleans up a bunch of files. A um, bit of gardening always helps. Uh, certainly helps when you have contributors who are not programmers who you want to encourage in, into the pro project uh, to make sure that the project is uh, less confusing, especially when Inkscape, um, pro you have a project like Inkscape that's very, very old. Uh, there are files just literally everywhere. Um, also, a whole bunch of fixes, uh, some crashes. Um, Jonathan put together this entire matrix of PDF input uh, testing, including testing a whole bunch of stuff that I'd fixed, uh, testing it again, and uh, figuring out that I had caused some crashes and a couple of regressions. Uh, we managed to get those all, f especially the crashes, I managed to get those all fixed and put into the beta, um, which is great. I believe there's one regression with uh, color styles in text, which is sitting on my hard drive and just needs to be merged and then pushed forward. But basically what happens now is that we fix it in master branch and then we make another merge request to put it into 1.3. So it's like, it's extra work now to actually patch 1.3 with fixes. So you better mean it. Um, and, and, that's, and that's basically it. The vectors team are going to uh, sort out what schedule they want for the beta release itself, i.e. actually making like the exe installer and the app image and the flat pack and snap image and whatever else your operating system accepts. They're going to be uh, putting that together because um, they're the outreach team. So they need to be able to say to you guys, uh, it's ready now and uh, here are all the downloads and here are all of the translations for stuff and here is all of the like introduction and whatever they need to do. They usually take more time with the actual final release itself. Um, but we like to give different parts of the project control over the, the scheduling for what happens, which is why developers in this particular case are deciding when the branching happens and then Vector's team can make a more solid decision about when it wants to actually announce the release to everybody on the internet. Um, so I, I'd, I'd like to kick straight into all of the work that's been happening outside of my own work. Um, first of all, I wanted to give a massive shout out to Maren Hackman, 
She has been absolutely storming it this week with string controls. Now, most of you probably aren't aware that like software contains a lot of sentences, a lot of strings as we, we call, call them in programming terms. These are these can be as simple as individual words, uh, symbols sometimes, entire paragraphs. And um, you have to make a distinction between the words that you intend to translate into, say, French and Spanish and Japanese and what have you, and words that are just, they're fixed symbols or names or nouns or, or they're just things that shouldn't be translated. Uh, what Marin has been doing is she's been basically reviewing every single feature that we've added in 1.3, um, checking their strings, asking and interrogating program, pro programmers, what does this feature do? How does it work? Does this tooltip make sense? Does this label make sense? How is it supposed to be translated? Uh, is this bunch of random sim symbols that you've told us is translatable but isn't translatable? And um, she's basically been working through tens and tens of these sort of string is issues. She's the head of the translations team. So what will happen then is she'll then uh, compile an Inkscape.pot file, which is sort of like tens of thousands and thousands of, of, of individual uh, messages or strings, which then um, translators themselves will take that and then turn them into translated versions of Inkscape. Um, that process is actually a very easy process to, to contribute to Inkscape in. So if you feel like Inkscape could do with being translated into your local la language, uh, you should get in touch because it is literally just a text file and you just work through the te text file translating all, all the messages. Um, but Marin's work is critical because it increases the quality of that file and also pushes back at developers a little bit for some of their sloppiness when it comes to when we define uh, language strings. And, you know, we are, we are all nominally programming in Inkscape. Inkscape is, um, let, me, let me try that again. We're all nominally programming in English, but English is not our first language. And also some of us have different Englishes, like mine is English British, Northern, and so I have particular idioms or particular ways of phrasing things that are not either not professional or they're not uh, typical of American English. Those get cleaned up as well. Um, but then you have people who don't speak English very well at all, like they're Spanish or they're Japanese or what have you, and their their strings get uh, uh, basically cleaned up so that they, they make more sense in, in, in English as well. So that review pro process is uh, really, really important. And I wish more large pro projects in the open source world had somebody like Marin, who was f sort of like dead focused on just one job, right? She does all the stuff, but like the, f the focus on translations um, helps define a job that you can just do. And you know whether you've succeeded or not because of the quality of the work that's produced. So um, take my hat to her. Okay, so this is long enough already. Um, thank you all very much for watching this video. Now, I'm going to be taking a break for a couple, a couple of weeks. Um, we are getting into the pro process of basically just polishing things off. I'm, I don't think I'm going to be working on too many features. Uh, please do stay in touch with me, especially if you've got bugs with the beta or you have found something that's really important. Or if you're one of my patrons, um, please do uh, keep messaging me if there's something important. I might not be able to get to it right away, but I will be able to at least add it to my list of things to do. And uh, there'll be some polls coming out shortly after the release to decide on what we work on next. Um, that said, if you are not one of my patrons and you do want to help support my work, uh, please do consider jo joining. This um, work that I do on Inkscape, it's not possible without the help from yourselves. And, um, you know, this is how we can keep some, some of this op open stuff, open source stuff running, is by supporting the people who can program, who have the skills to be able to contribute on your behalf. And um, yeah, thank you again for watching this very ram rambling video and I'll see you in a couple of weeks time.